What's going on everybody and welcome back to week number 8 of the college football season. Big game here for our Florida Gators, number 12 ranked, going up against 4 and 2 Mizzou. And Mizzou usually does play Florida pretty close, pretty close, but that's not going to be the game of the week. There are, you know, once, you know, we're getting into the real meat and potatoes of the college football season. So every week there is big time matchups and the big ones that I'm looking at, we got obviously uh, Florida State at Clemson, which will be our game of the week. I'm going to let you know what team. We're, we're controlling a certain team that's the color orange in that ball game. Uh, obviously, we, not every team we've controlled has won. I guess that's a fair point to make. Um, we have Auburn, Texas A&M is a nice game. UCLA at Stanford, number 23 ranked. Undefeated UCLA going up against 4-2 and two Stanford. who still have a higher uh, ranking in the coaches' poll, which is kind of crazy. We have USC, Notre Dame, which... Usually, look, it is a game of the week, but Notre Dame off to a 1-5 in five start, so not recovering well after Deshaun Kaiser left them. Oklahoma, Kansas, just to name a few, but our game of the week will be Florida State at Clemson, and we will be rolling with the Tigers in this one. So let's jump into that game, and then once we're done, we will wrap up with a full score recap and the players of the week. All right, let's look at the two teams that we're going to be playing. Looking at Florida State, their defense has been absolutely outstanding. Offense hasn't been too bad either. Whereas you look at Clemson, middle, man, defense is looking good. Defense looking much better than the offense, which is pretty much the case. Uh, key players for us is obviously Deion K, Christian Wilkins. I don't know why they keep showing the goddamn kicker. Worse no love for, for Dexter, Dexter Lawrence. You know, he's a good player. Kendall Joseph, the linebacker. Uh, more importantly, looking at Florida State, Derwin James may be the best player in college football. Tavares McFadden, an absolute beast, first-round corner prospect for sure. Looking at the injury report, Cam Akers, one of the most talented, if not the most talented freshman in all of college football, is set to miss this game. So that is a big loss for Florida State. The reason why I am being Clemson is Florida State next year. Looking at the roster, in my opinion, they're not a team that can go undefeated. So at least this way here we can guarantee... Well, not even guaranteed because we didn't lose with Washington, but we can, you know, try our best to straighten the ship and get this real as possible. So let's jump into the game. Let's do some damn. Too easy. That's weak coverage. That's why you attack whatever side of the field Derwin James is not on. Deion Kane's a beast, probably first round prospect at the wide receiver spot, but that was incredibly weak coverage, which is why you don't, you know, it's, it's bad game planning for Florida State having Derwin James and Tavares McFadden on the same side of the field. PD, CJ Fuller, equalizer, as number 14 Clemson levels this game, seven apiece with Florida State early in the second quarter. Oh, Kane. Oh, let's go. Deion Kane, 40-yard touchdown to the house. I'm going to tell you, man, that's one of the best things about the NCAA game. Your superstar players actually play like superstar players. And Deion Kane is very much that for this Clemson Tiger offense. 14-7 lead going into half. Oh, Kane again. Oh my god, 24. Just take your helmet off, bud, and go sit on the sidelines. We got beat three straight times deep on Deion Kane. Oh, Clemson, this game's getting ugly. Just like that, game over. Clemson with the moderate upset, 21-16 to over Derwin James and his Florida State Seminole. Here we go, play the game. Deion Kane, an absolute monster. have no idea why Jimbo did not pull 24 from this game. Because he got fucking torched like a goddamn... I don't want to go there. There's a topical joke you can make about that. We're not going to go there. But there you go. Your Clemson Tigers have knocked off Florida State. So the ACC is wide open again. DeAndre Francois and his offense dearly missing. I could only assume Cam Akers. Deion Kane, player of the game. Four catches, 136 yards. Two touchdowns. Let's wrap this shit up and get a look at the rest of college. All right, so looking back through the scores, unfortunately, Florida Gators fell to Mizzou. 27-17, as I stay at the top, they have been a thorn in the side of Florida in years past. So it's not, you know, terrifyingly upsetting. 
Still pretty damn upsetting. Uh, Miami went over North Carolina, 45 to 21. That's a good result there. Louisville, number 17 ranked Louisville, and Lamar Jackson fall to winless at that point. UCF, 21 to 17. That is really damn surprising to be completely honest with you there. Uh, we got, uh, let's see here, checking through. That's a shootout there. Pittsburgh and San Diego State. Um, Oklahoma, OK State, body TCU. So good bounce back game there for Mason Rudolph. Took Michigan to overtime to beat Indiana 27-24. I think Indiana is going to be a real competitive team this upcoming year. Ole Miss dumped. LSU 23 to 17 what probably could be an upset for how both their seasons gone Alabama 38 Arkansas 21 some uh, some competitive games here in the SEC uh, what do we got here Oklahoma 31 3 over Kansas USC body Notre Dame 45 to 14 I'm sure we'll probably see what Sam that's just I will just see what Sam Darnold did let's see what see what old Sammy D did Sam Darnold four touchdowns on the day I mean he is he is really a legitimate quarterback threat from USC. Stanford over UCLA, 35 to 28. So UCLA, no more uh, undefeated. Stanford really, I mean, that Pac-12 is looking real confusing for who wants to eventually get on. Georgia struggles here and barely edges by Vandy, 38 to 35 in overtime. Auburn rolls Texas A&M, 36 to 10. Iowa State, or Iowa, sorry, gets bodied by Ohio State, 31 to 3. We saw Clemson. Go over Florida State here in a very close matchup in the ACC. And outside of that, I mean, you know, nothing too, too crazy. So let's take a quick look here at the players of the week and who may have improved their draft stock. We'll have to see. So looking here for players of the week as a whole, Temple Corner, Antrell Foster. We got four tackles, three tackles for loss of sack, two forced fumbles and an interception. Did it all against Idaho. And for run offensive player Washington State, they run the ball. The running back James Williams with three touchdowns on the day, as well as 81 yards through the air as they beat Oregon 35 to 30. We got the ACC. We have that good performance there from the pit running back stepping in the shoes of James Conner, getting 172 yards and three touchdowns. There we have in the Big Ten. The Big 12, Mason Rudolph, five touchdowns against TCU, and Darian Daniels got three sacks. Looking at the American, four touchdowns there for Kyle Allen at Houston. This is Central USA. Here we have the Independents, Mac, Midwest, Brett Rippon of the Boise State Broncos, two touchdowns. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's not that impressive. Pac-12. We got the SEC. Nine catches, 194 yards, and a touchdown for Hale Hentage. We'll go Hentage. Hentages. Replacing O.J. Howard, looking pretty serviceable. And Carlton Davis of Auburn with two interceptions and a win against Texas A&M. Here we have the Sun Belt. And in general, the NCAA. So a fairly entertaining week. Bunch of big time games that were on the matchups there. So that was nice to see. But we're getting ready next time we stop by for week number nine of the college football season. So thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. If this is your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment with any comments, questions, or concerns. And stay tuned for tonight for the newest episode of the Philadelphia Eagles Madden 18 Connected Franchise Mode. C4 is out. Say